morning. And welcome to cloudy Winnipeg. Yeah, I guess every morning can't be nice. Mind you, there's no snow, that's nice. <laughs> okay, now, how do I get started here this morning? Uh, I am very, you might say, lucky in that a lot of the people that are watching this model ship series pretty much on a regular basis are very knowledgeable when it comes to, you know, a, a, a real battleship like the Iowa. Uh, you know, we, we've got uh, Corey, Corey Vincent in LA who's actually been on the, on the Iowa. And uh, we, we've got uh, Carolina Jeff who's, who's uh, served on a ship like this. And uh, they're, they're making comments and uh, correcting me and, you know, when it comes to terminology. Now, these little caps that go over the end of the barrel to keep birds from flying in there to build a nest. <laughs> and, and they would over time, believe me, uh, are called tampions. <laughs> okay, now, now we know what they're called. Uh, I still think just for the fun of it, I'm going to measure the diameter of, of this, uh, the end of the barrel here. And, and just see uh, how, how it works out to if I multiply it by 200. In other words, to, to scale, how, how accurate it is. It could be that, I, I got a feeling when I look at it, that this could well be larger than the, than the uh, bore of the, the guns on the Yamato, <laughs> which were, I think, around 18 inches or something. Incredible. Anyway, uh, I think that's one of the reasons, one of the things that that, that really kind of grabbed my interest with the with the Yamato, and I was so interested in it, is because the just the the mass of the thing, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I think we had Yamato Yamato Cup Day, so uh, I was going to bring it down here and reach reach over and sort of complain in a way oh there goes our black truck again I, 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 I swear that guy waits for me to push record it's, it's just it just happens so often <laughs> um, and anyway as I've said before it doesn't take much to distract me does it anyway yeah it, it, uh, it's, it's too bad that we're not going to be getting the Yamato now after I've been harping on it for two years Okay, anyway, now what I was originally going to talk about is that uh, when I get comments from people, a lot of times I have no idea who you are, where you are, or anything like that, but I'll get comments from a particular person. I can tell by the, sometimes the name, but usually I'll, sometimes I'll just get an avatar with some sort of made up cyber name, you know, and, and that's all right. I, I appreciate that too. You know, with me, you know exactly where I live, what I look like, uh, the inside of my house, the outside of my house. I mean, for goodness sakes, I, I put a chess cam on and zipped around the neighborhood on my scooter or, or e-bike or sometimes in the car. I mean, you know exactly where I live. I live in Winnipeg. I live on Callum Crescent in Winnipeg, and it and I don't I don't care if people know, you know. As I've said before, I'm in the phone book. <laughs> Do they have phone books anymore? You know, come come to think of it. That's right. I used to get a new phone book every year. I haven't I haven't seen one for the longest time. That that's uh, yeah the phone book that used to be a, a big deal. We used to get a new phone book delivered. To, to the to the house every year. Uh, I guess that's another uh, uh, th thing that's that's in the past. You know, Every, everything's electronically now. Go well. I never used the phone book for the, when when I got it anyway. I would just I would just uh, Google what I wanted and uh, and I guess they they figured save the paper. Well, it makes sense. You know, save the trees. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to, to uh, say that sometimes when I reply to a comment and you think, well, well that is not a, a very good reply for, for me, it doesn't, it's not, doesn't really fit me. Well, it's because I didn't know who you were. Uh, not because I, I mean to be uh, 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 not very tactful, you might say, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I just, it's just, I just don't know who you are, and and I, I reply, uh, I, I might misunderstand who you are. Okay, now that we've uh, completely botched that up, uh, <laughs> let's. Uh, Let's just, just for the fun of it, uh, oh, oh, the sunrise this morning, uh, there was no sunrise this morning, uh, uh, Don and Bridget, well, one of the, one of the viewers made a comment about Don and Bridget, and he thought it was two, two, two women, <laughs> sorry, Don, <laughs> no, it's, it's a husband and wife, and those of you who, who recall way back, I think it was the, right at the beginning of June, I put on the chess cam, and I got on the e-bike, and I went, I went, out there and I met Don and Bridget if you remember and uh, yeah as, as far as I know it's a it's a husband and wife team and uh, they've been out as near as I can tell they've been out every day not necessarily at the same time because if you remember one of those mornings we were having a terrible uh, thunderstorm rolling through here but I I'm pretty sure they they came later in the day I don't think they've missed a day I should put my chest cam on and, and go out there before the snow comes and see if I can meet them again um, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's get out my caliper just for the fun of it and, uh, measure the, uh, bore of that, uh, barrel and then see, and, and multiply it by 200. Okay, I will be the first to admit that this is probably not the best way to be doing this. However, it's going to give us a rough idea. And we're going to do it in inches. All right, now let's get the... Okay, we're going to take the, an average here. We got, uh, it looks like 7400s there. And uh, maybe we'll do another one. Maybe I should have put a weight on the end of that turret so it doesn't want to. Maybe, I, you know, I could be, I'm not holding this quite right here. I'm going to just move everything a little bit so that I can kind of hold it down here. Okay, that's 75. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, that'd be 70, I think it's 7,500, it's not thousands. Okay, um, you know what? Maybe if I was to turn this on its side like this and and measure the measure one of them the in the other direction, it could be that Okay, that one's 74. No, I get the, you know what, they're pretty round. I thought that maybe they were kind of oval shaped. Okay, so it looks like it's, so we'll go, we'll go 74.5 hundredths of an inch and multiply it up by 200 and, and see how it works. Okay, here we go. See if I do, can do this right the first time. So it would be point zero. 74.5 times 200 equals. Well, it works out to uh, 15, almost almost 15 inches. Uh, so that's pretty close because I think these were 16 inch guns. So yeah, all right. Uh, uh, so that that is actually. Uh, I, I would have thought they were they were bigger. If anything, they're they're smaller than they're supposed to be. Uh, okay.
Yeah, we're, we're done here. We're done. Now, if you will remember, I cut off yesterday's episode just a little bit early because I wanted to go over to my daughter's and return the containers that had the leftovers. Yeah, well, I did, and the trip went really well. I think it went better than the uh, trip on, when I went over there on Sunday for the dinner. Uh, no, <laughs> on Monday when I was having uh, coffee with my neighbor, I was telling him, you know, uh, when I was coming back from my daughter's, I don't remember stopping at a particular stop sign. And usually what I can do is I can go over the entire trip in my mind and I can remember the entire thing. Uh, but I couldn't remember stopping at this stop sign. I was a little bit worried about it. Anyway, I paid extra attention. And I know I stopped at that stop sign this time. <laughs> anyway... The trip went good. Yeah, I hope I can get a few more in yet this year. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we are still in step number 50 here. And I was going to glue these six pieces together here, or make these 12 pieces and make up six optical units. And I was thinking about it, and I thought, you know, that's kind of funny that they, the same piece would do, would do both sides. And... Uh, in other words, they plug in here and here. And then I looked at the manual and I realized that, <laughs> no, we've got one and four go together and two and five go together. Okay, um, so, so that means I've got to take these pieces now and uh, figure out which one is, uh, which one of these is uh, uh, a number one, I guess it is. And because the ones with the pins, are they are the uh, four and five okay so in other words i'm just going to take out a minute here and i'm going to write on the inside what they are so i don't get them mixed up although actually it would it would be kind of hard to get them mixed up because because this has a <clears throat> an opening right here see i keep it backwards sort of in focus see a little opening right there well it, it has to match up with a a little opening right there and if I was to try and put this together wrong, it just wouldn't work. So, uh, yeah, I'd have to take one of these to make it. Yeah, I, I guess I, I, you know what, I guess I, I would not have made a mistake. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty clear. Well, I guess I could make a mistake. <laughs> okay, let's uh, continue on here. Okay, I did not label the insides of these parts like I said I was going to. I just matched them up. It was easy. And the idea will be that uh, I think we can probably just take it apart here, like so. And uh, yeah, can't go wrong. And I think I'm going to be using the, uh, the extra thin, but not the extra thin quick setting. Uh, yeah, at least uh, that's the plan. Maybe I should put just a little bit more glue on than I am. I don't know about that much. Yeah, we'll do one more on camera, and then the last, last of them, I'll just uh, 
do off camera. Oh my. It's going to dissolve on the inside. I don't think it'll hurt anything, but I suppose it, it could slightly warp everything. Yeah. Okay, the other three I'll just uh, quickly get them done. Okay, all six are made now. And we don't actually glue these in place until we get to step 51. And I uh, just want to see how this is going to go here. Yeah, that, that'll be all right. Get some, some glue in those holes and then the uh, pegs will have a tendency to meld in, in place a lot better. Anyway, this is how it goes. All right. Okay, I was uh, getting myself all set up here to uh, position these barrels the right spacing so that they'll fit through the openings here and I was trying to decide <clears throat> what would be the best way to go about that. Like should I maybe cut the blast bags and put them on and get everything elevated just right and sort of glue these in place because I wanted to paint them. And uh, then I was realizing that, uh, that step 50 here is is done. We, we are now officially on step 51. Is we, we are basically over here. So there's there's nothing more that we can do here. There is no photo etch involved on 50. So uh yeah. We're we're now on step 51. Congratulations. Okay, let's uh let's recompose here a little bit. Okay, some of these are going to slide into place a lot easier than others. And some of them might accidentally slide out of place because they're so terribly loose but uh, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here I don't want to break something now oh, how are these gonna come looks like they have to go almost all the way to the outside I haven't put these put these on before so this is gonna be the first time now my, my thinking is, I don't know if I mentioned that, I want to get them all in the right place first before I paint them because if I'm trying to, you know, fit everything into, into place after I've painted them, I'm probably going to scratch the paint on the, uh, on the sides of the barrels. Okay, now, would it be a good idea at this point to, to cut our blast bags and, and, glue, and get them in place? Uh, and, and then, no, that's, that's probably not going to work, because I want to I wanna paint the blast bags a, a lighter gray, maybe, maybe even a, an, an off-white, you know? because they, I, I don't think they were the same color as gray as this. They, I, I, in other words, I don't want them to, yeah, I don't want them the same, the number 19 that we're going to paint the turret. I want them to sort of stand out because they're sort of a very interesting sort of uh, uh, concept to these things, you know, blast bags. Before I started making these battleships, I did not know what the blast bags were all about. Uh... Yeah, I, I always thought that they, it was just some way that they, they, they kept the weather and everything from getting on the inside. Now, maybe maybe that is the real reason for them. Uh, Jeff would probably know. Uh, the, the, and, uh, and yeah, they, they would, you know, the concussion from the, from the explosion coming out the end of the muzzle here would sort of naturally want to come back and go on the inside of the, of the turret. Um... So maybe that's where the term blast comes from. I don't. I just. I just don't know. Uh, they're they're very flimsy things, so they <laughs> they wouldn't afford a whole lot of protection, now, would they? Okay. So so this is going to fit all right, and uh, yeah, let, let's stop poking at it here. I think we basically got them in the right position there. 
So we should be able to take this apart now. I'm not going to take it apart without moving them. Or, or may, maybe this is just not a good idea. Maybe I should just go ahead and, and paint them. And, and if I scratch the sides, then I could touch it up later. Um, I don't know. Now, when we did the five inch guns here the other day, I used the number 66 on the barrels. I only did one coat, if you'll remember. And I suppose it might look a little better if I was to do two coats. But I'm going to use the 66 again on, on the remaining barrels. Even though the, the 20, I believe the 20 millimeter guns that we did, I think I did the barrels in uh, uh, almost black. What was it, the NATO black? I'm going to use this wider brush here. Well, this one's got the squared off end. I don't want that one. Okay, yeah, I made the mistake of, of cutting the end off of that. I, at the time, I thought maybe it would brush a lot a lot better, but actually, uh, if I remember right, it actually brushed worse. So, okay, so we'll use this brush. It'll go quite fast. I'm probably going to have to do two coats on this. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll do one coat on camera anyway. And uh, I did just shake this up just a little while ago, so... It's ready to go here. And, uh, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. Now, when I put this down, the barrel is going to want to touch on the cloth there, so maybe I should be putting it on something else. Okay, I want to try and keep it centered here, so it kind of hang over. Okay, yeah, I'll hold them, hold it in my hand here. Do the underside first, and then we'll do the top side. If this doesn't want to work out well, once again, I'm trying to do things on camera that maybe I shouldn't be. I should. I got to stop complaining about that. I'm, I'm, I'm not really complaining, but it sort of sounds like I am, doesn't it? Okay. Now, how far up do I have to go here? The blast bags, I, I do believe the blast bags come down to about these, this ring here. Yeah, that is a little bit on the heavy side, yes. Um, Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do two coats here. I'll bet you that's telemarketing. Hi, Max. Uh, just let me, I'm, I'm recording at the moment, but I, I can stop what I'm doing. Uh, just, just hang on a second. I'm going to push stop here.
Okay, I'm back. All right. So I think I can probably hold it up like this. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably force dry these and uh, and get the second coat on. Now on, on the inside of the of the muzzle there, somebody was suggesting maybe I could paint that black. I think these ones would be fairly easy to uh, to paint black with a really small brush. Oh, that that was uh, my neighbor. He. Uh, he he had uh, really good news and he wanted to share it with me. So that was nice. Okay. All right, is there anything else there I can do? I, uh, I remember uh, Aussie Frenchman Mark telling me or mentioning how if you try to improve on something like this after it started to dry, all you're gonna do is make it worse, so. I think this is going to be all covered by the blast bag anyway. Yeah, I can sort of envision where the blast bag will come there, but yeah, you can actually see see how the the paint there sort of uh, got worse. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's going to be covered. We're not going to see that mess that I just made. I don't think there are any other really glaring. Whoops! I need three hands. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any other really glaring places here that I should be doing. Okay, you know, I'm going to just quickly do the uh, the other two uh, uh, units here off camera and get them done. Okay, we got our paintbrush all cleaned up and ready for the next time. And uh, for step 51, what do we need? Well, we've already got these. I think I got those months ago already. So uh, we don't need to be nipping off N1s, but we do need some P12s here, which are these little guys. And uh, yeah, what do we need? Four. So we need uh, we need all of them then. I'll clean them up later. Okay, I'll get the others later. Um, however, I was going to say something here. Well, we need the blast bags, that's for sure. Oh, now I know what I was going to say. Just before I pressed record, the black truck went by again. And I'm wondering, what does he do? And of course, being kind of suspicious, I start thinking things like maybe he's a drug dealer that does deliveries, but <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because uh, I've seen him out in the front yard you know, playing with his kids. And I'm wondering if maybe he's an Uber driver. And, you know, he, he parks and he gets a call and parks at home here and gets a call and then he goes and picks people up. And Now, that's not a real economical vehicle to drive around, but it is a six-passenger truck. Okay, later I remembered what it was that I wanted to mention that I forgot. And that was this. In the kitchen, I've got the barrels force drying, and the reason for that is I want to give them a second coat this afternoon so that tomorrow morning we'll be all ready to go. Okay, so we got those. And what else do we have to get here? Now, we do have to get some photo X for 51. Now, these we've already got made. Don't know where they are, but we've got these baskets made. Uh, so we have to get some more ladders, and then they, go, they get mounted on the four of them on the, on the front there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of the parts here. At least I think I will. What do we got? It's almost uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it quits for today's episode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you in the morning. <laughs>